Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I recently got an email from a mail from JD Micro and this package came in. It's from Jeff Mazur and this is called the Ram X128K. Let's see what As you may know, JD Micro is always coming out with amazing cool stuff from both Apple II and Apple IIe. And this time they just came out with this, the RAM X128. This is for the Apple II and Apple II Plus installed in slot zero. And this is basically a 128K RAM uh, memory card for the Apple II, II Plus. So this is, I suppose, a replacement for the Saturn. I don't know if you heard about the Saturn card, but the Saturn card was, back in the day, the card, the facto card to bring your Apple II Plus to 128K. Normally it came out with 48K and you couldn't do too much with it. So, um, in fact, I have in my Darth Vader installed um, Saturn clone and let's see how it works, the Saturn clone. Cool thing is that because I got also installed the ROM X, I'll be able to do tests without having to run any programs or anything like that. So I turn on the machine, immediately comes with my, my ROM exchange menu. And over here, I can actually select the A, memory test utility for ROM X plus. So I go to A and it comes with the memory and the memory card that I have installed, not the ROM X, just to be sure that uh, we're clear. It's installed there. And I'm going to perform tests from this one so you can see how it works on the old versions. Um, here we go. So I go space and I say all RAM. Let's test all RAM. So it begins to doing all the testing and it all the lights begin to light on because it's testing, 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 checking what's going on and everything looks good. So, um, I think it's done. Yeah, pass, 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 pass. So that's good. So the old memory works as it should. Now let's see how the RAM X works. Let's turn it off. Remove very, very carefully the old one. And let's open the real deal. This is a new product. And as always, I always have great faith i am very excited always because the products not only are beautiful look at this it's all black has the big jd micro all the information it's pretty simple it has some uh, switches that you can go over here and uh, actually see what they do so you can do you can have several things so i'm, I'm just gonna put it uh, but the, the way it is to see if it works just by itself <clears throat> again it says this towards the front so I'll put it in, this, in slot zero all the way in. Make sure it's firmly come in and let's go. Again, we go space. Let's do the A. And it's detecting that I had to plus a Saturn in slot zero. So it's doing the same thing. I do the space and let's do the O. Oh, all well, of a sudden I get the same thing. A lot of LEDs. Wow. And they're smaller, nicer, and of course, they're working. So it's taste, testing and it's working and it passed everything. I can do the clear results and do it again. So we can see it again. Next, I think I'm going to look for some software to test and see what else uh, I can run with this. But so far, as you can see, it's pretty easy. Just put it in, immediately detects it, and it runs. So, so far, so good. So let's see the card. The card itself, it's really small. If you compare it to a newer, but older newer version, it's a lot smaller, leaner, and it has a lot more options. This this is an old one from um, 
Saturn 128 reboot has huge chips and uh, is it doesn't have too many options just a lot of LEDs over here we got and we can see several options let me check so here's a card a better view just in comparison it's the same size of a Raspberry Pi zero so just for you to know it's pretty pretty nice pretty clear it tells you where the front of the computer should be it tells you the banks on the LEDs which bank is being accessed and of course it has some explanation so you don't have to to be go and look for you know manuals and things so uh, if you switch on the not the one DMA is in two DMA out three is the reset mode and the four LED power and if you want more information you go GD macro for documentation so it's small simple and as you can see it's it, it's uh it has all the information you need in the back it just has the JD macro micro again front of the computer this is very nice because we there's a lot of people like me that don't know how to put things and break things very easy so being in both sides the thing that where the front of the computer is it's very important So another advantage of using this card is I'm going to load uh, on W drive locksmith and immediately when you're going to do a, a copy like a fast copy it will immediately recognize the RAM card 128K and it will be able to make a copy in one pass. So that's one very cool thing about uh, having the the card, the card will uh, give you the, the most of the memory. Uh, it depends, of course, uh, on the programs. Um, I actually was looking at discussion today uh, in Facebook and somebody was asking if they could run uh, Apple II desktop on a plus with um, a run card like this, but it's not the same. It doesn't manage the memory this, the same way as the Apple IIe. So, you will need a, a program that take advantage of the Saturn or, you know, these kind of cards on an Apple IIe. It still give you a lot of good advantages. Again, we just saw it working. We saw that it, it enables the lights when it finds a certain amount of RAM and it just gives it available, as you can see, provides it available immediately in any program that uses that. As you can see, I love the Romex. And now that they have the Ramex, I get confused, sorry about it. Um, I'm loving it too. You know, it, it's modern, it's fast, it's cool, it's very small. So the footprint, it, it allows the, the computer to, you know, not get heat, uh, not get hot, not get any, any, any issues. You can put other cards, bigger cards around, because these will not use any space at all. And as you can see, when you run all the tests, it will light up. I, I love LEDs and this I double love because these are the new ones, the very small LEDs and they, they show everything. So again, having their all their products, it's one thing for me, like a must. Every time that uh, Jeff and Dean have a new product, I, I beg them to let them test it because they I know they're going to be awesome. They're going to be cool. And you got the, the warranty that it's going to be an amazing, very bad product. So. I cannot say anything better than than just go get them because this new RAM X, it will enhance your Apple II Plus. And of course, while you're at it, get the ROM X2 because it really gives you more features like the battery um, clock, uh, battery backup information, and of course, a lot of uh, ways to boot your computer. I think this is it. Um, let me know your comments. Uh, go to JD Micro and Reactive Micro is the one who sells them and go on and look for them. And then again, please leave comments, please like and um, share with all your friends. All right. See you next time.